to make a iced caramel latte using my Breville Brista Espress coffee machine. I've had this machine for almost three years. It'll be three years next month. And um, after having been a professional barista full-time for two years and then part-time for another two years, I have grown to love my espressos and I cannot go a day without them. Um, usually in the form of a warm latte, but since it's an afternoon, usually I go for iced. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and start by grinding the espresso directly into my portafilter. The Barista Express, you can have a setting for a single shot or a double shot. You can adjust the grind amount. And then on the side, you can also adjust the fineness of your grind. I have it set at a four, I believe. So then when I push it in, now I am going to go ahead and tamp down the grounds. You want to apply 40 pounds of pressure directly down and then brush off the extra grinds, grounds off the edges. I will then put this into my machine and lock it into place. I always brush off the grinds off the bottom because sometimes there's little grounds that get stuck in my tamping pad and that just makes sure that we don't get that little extra bit of espresso grinds going into the drink itself. Now I'm going to put in the syrup that I want. I usually for my iced lattes use a pump and a half. If I'm making a latte for um, somebody who's visiting who said they like it lightly sweet, usually I put two pumps of syrup. Um, a coffee shop will usually put three, maybe four. It all depends on how many shots of espresso um, and how sweet you want the drink. Today I'm using a sugar-free Tarani Classic Caramel. Usually I do not go sugar-free, but since we accidentally got sugar-free, that's what we're having today. So one and a half pumps of my syrup. An iced latte is very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and put my shot of espresso directly into my printer. crema. So this is just the espresso and the syrup. So next we're going to add the milk. I'm going to go ahead and add four ice cubes. Stir it up nice and good. Oops. Go help the baby. And pour the drink into my glass. Ah! If you want to, you can add more milk. The more milk you have, the less you're going to taste the espresso. So for one shot of espresso, I like to do about 10, 12 ounce total in my drink. And there we have it, an iced 